your highness. Are you all right? I am unharmed. Oh, good. Being princess ain't all fancy dinners, huh? Gotta be hard carrying a whole country. Can it, Rosie? That's the Princess of Gallia you're talking to. No, it's quite all right. She speaks the truth. As scion of the Valkyrer, it is my fate to live and die for Gallia's well-being. Are you sure that isn't just your excuse, Your Highness? What? If you label the status quo fate, you can run from the responsibility of changing it. You too, Welkin. Have a little respect here. Every living thing in this world struggles to live and pass life on to a new generation. They use all the instincts and animal wisdom they can just to live that one day longer. That powerful animal will to live is... I think it's a beautiful part of nature. <sighs> Your Highness may be descended from Valkyra, and that may carry a burden. The old ways and traditions you follow may be important to uphold. But I hope that you won't throw away the will to live your own life because of them. That's enough, Welkin. Give it a rest. Perhaps it is as you say, and I have been running from responsibility unknowingly. It is indeed mine to consider my life's role within the Valkyrian bloodline. Y your Highness... I am most envious of your ability to speak your mind so frankly. But time enough remains to consider my role, by my own will. Thank you for your words, Lieutenant. Not at all. Uh. Wow! Even a princess's gut'll wake up and say hi when it's empty. I... I am. Rumbling bellies are a clever bit of animal wisdom all humans share. Alicia, have we got anything to eat? You bet. I brought some of the cinnamon rolls I baked this morning. Here you are, Your Highness. Thank you kindly. I have not had such bread before, but it is quite agreeable. <laughs> I'm glad. All right. Let's get Her Highness back to the capital. And so Princess Cordelia returned, safe through the efforts of Militia Squad 7. Its leader, Welkin Gunther, was celebrated as rescuer to the nation's sovereign and awarded the prestigious Gallian Medal of Honor. Lieutenant Welkin Gantha, step forward. Sir, for excellence in valor and deed, you are hereby awarded this honor. Your Highness, please bestow the medal upon the young lieutenant. Gladly. Congratulations, Lieutenant Gunther. Thank you, Your Highness. Though I have yet to reach an answer, your question drives me still. To understand my responsibility as sovereign and as a single human life. Your Highness. Oh, and know that one tradition already lies sundered by my will. I had the cooks add cinnamon rolls to my daily breakfast. Alicia will be happy to hear it. Lieutenant Gunther, you forget yourself. I am a pompous prick. Look at my pompous prick mustache. Sir, my apologies. With this, today's ceremonies are ended. Highness, would you grace us with a word? Lieutenant Gunther. I hope your allegiance to Gallia stands firm evermore. Yes, Princess. Lieutenant Gunther, I am 
I'm sorry. There is something more I have not told you. Please, be safe. Welkin, I'm coming in. Sure, it's open. Ooh, is that it? Not bad, man. You sure made a name for yourself this time. It was pure luck I was there. So have you seen the headlines? The ones that say nothing about the kidnapping? That reporter tells me Borg's the one pressuring the media into suppressing it. Why suppress it? If word got out about what happened, Galia's relationship with the Federation would suffer. We've got our hands full fending off the Empire. We can't afford a war on two fronts. So he has the whole thing covered up. I'll bet he goes on acting like it never happened. Wow. Welkin, this hurts. It's painfully obvious how shaky Galia's standing is. I know the world's history is an endless chain of big fish eating little fish. Both of us know the weak bow to the strong, its history and its nature. A minor nation like ours is an easy mark, even before you add the rift within our army. Welkin, no offense, but I hope nature's wrong this time. I don't know what to tell you, Faldio. Chapter 10, Liberation of Thousand. Okay, Chapter 10. This is where the game particularly starts to get dark. About decor decorations. Meeting certain conditions as you proceed, yada 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 It's basically saying, hey, if you do this, then you can get this. And Cordelia awaits us in the HQ, aka the Assembly Hall. And thus we shall go there. We're halfway through the game, we've only just fully unlocked everything here. So gimme, gimme, gimme! How have you been, Your Highness? Very well, Lieutenant Gunther. And all the better for seeing you again. I thank you again for the valor you showed in assisting me that night. Not at all. I was just relieved to see you were unharmed, Highness. It wasn't until I saw my friends gawk at that medal that I realized how special it was. <laughs> you truly are a rare individual. It is the duty of a nation to acknowledge and reward the loyal deeds of its people. Medals and trinkets are the only form we have, but we ask that you wear them proudly. Yes, ma'am. And thank you, Your Highness. I hear your accomplishments do not end with that knight's bravery, either. The stories of your accomplishments suggest I owe you a great deal more than that. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. In honor of your manifold accomplishments, you are hereby awarded this honor. Highness, it's an honor! This is gonna take a while. Because it's gonna give me all the medals that I currently have, and then all of the special weapons that I get for completing something on an A rank. May your allegiance to Galia stand firm evermore. Wait, she isn't gonna give me weapons? You get weapons for A ranking though. Let me just. Let me see. Let me see here. Back to base. Okay, apparently I don't. Okay. I apparently it didn't count. Maybe it counts on New Game Plus. Okay, Quentin Flynn, you got anything for me? Hello again, son. Nope, you don't have anything. Quentin Flynn, have you got it memorized yet? That you are meant to give me orders. Hey! Dropping by to read the writing on the wall? That's a good man. Okay. Let's see here. A wall exclusive scoop. 
Early morning on the 23rd, Princess Cordelia was abducted and taken forcibly from the grounds of Castle Roundgreen. Subsequent investigation has shown the culprit was the Federation Ambassador Townsend in Galliard on an official visit. After a banquet at the castle, he forced the princess into an armored vehicle he had prepared and made for port. Thankfully, his escape was thwarted by members of Squad 7 of the Gallia military, who safely recovered Princess Cordelia in time. The Gallian government has declined to address this matter publicly, likely in an effort not to endanger relations with the Federation while Gallia remains locked in combat with the Empire's forces. Here's the thing, Balia was complaining, it's like, oh, they're covering it up! We don't want a war on two- and then he complains about the fact that it's being covered up when he knows that the reason is to protect Gallia from a two-front war. It's like, sometimes lying is a necessity. It's a necess- it's a nece it's a, it's a, a necessary evil. I mean, think about it. This is a tiny country going up against a military giant, and they're risking going up against another military giant if they don't. It's like, pick your poison, Falio. Do you want them to cover it up and make it so you only have a one-front war, or to tell the truth and be on a two-front war? Let's see. Castle Roundtree's audience hall saw an award ceremony on the 28th in which Militia Officer Lieutenant Welking Gunther was presented the prestigious Gali Medal of Honor, given to those who have, owned, who have gone above and beyond the call of duty in the service of Gali interests. The Unicorn Emblazoned Medal was presented by Princess Cordelia herself, which also graced the young soldiers with wishes for his continued loyalty. After the ceremony, Gunther addressed the press saying that he hoped to do right by the Sonor by becoming a better man and officer. Medal hung proudly around his neck. The Gunther family has a rare distinction of being among the first to receive this highest award twice in as many generations. You got new material? Da -da -da! I've got new material! Yay! Oh god, this one! <laughs> Thanks a million! Oh god, this one. This entire chap bonus back, chapter that I've just unlocked is pretty much nothing but a tribute to Sakuya Wars. Welkin, bro! I I'm not exaggerating when I say that. <sighs> Getting expensive. Getting really expensive now. Okay, I need to Edelweiss outfit tank. Okay, change. Let's change some parts around here. Um, oh, oh, hell. Ugh, okay. If only I could, hmm. Okay, if I get rid of you... No, no, no I don't. I want to get, I want to change the bulletproof visor. And then the monocle sight. That increases my accuracy to 24. Okay. Come back! No! I'm never coming back. Well. Okay, and then upgrade the snipers a bit. Fight the bullet! There we go, two of them leveled up. Good work, maggots! Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the shock troopers! Yay! But they're not elite, are they? Oh, yes they are! Upgrading your unit's class to elite adds special bonuses to top their normal growth. Some classes also become able to wield new types of advanced weaponry. Keep up the training and try to get all of Squad 7's units up to elite status. Congratulations, shock troopers! As of today, you are elites! That means clearance for flamethrowers! Oh boy! 
Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order. Put it to good use out there. I got a flamethrower. Come back anytime you're ready to sweat. Wait. If I go back here, well, I've got to upgrade. Oh boy. Okay, let's have a. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's not that bad. Yeah, who am I kidding? It's terrible. I don't have enough money to upgrade everything. Come back again soon, bro. Oh well, let's do the bonus mission. <laughs> Report. Squad 7's R and R. I'm just going to play this through the entire way and we can laugh. Figured this has gotta be big if they put out an emergency call, right? Oh, Back into the field again? Militia ever heard of time off? I'm sorry to have called you here so early. I had news for Squad 7 of a pressing nature. The higher-ups were watching, both during your recovery of the Princess and elsewhere. In recognition of those accomplishments, you and I are being granted special leave. Ooh! That's great news. Are you serious? Music to my ears. How wonderful. There's more. We've been granted access to a stretch of shoreline owned by House Randgreeze. House Randgreeze owns a stretch of shoreline? In other words, our orders are to cut loose and relax on a posh private beach. No way. That princess really knows how to up the morale, don't she? The whole place to ourselves. Talk about luxury. Hey, but what should I do? I don't own a swimsuit. Then come on, let's go shopping. I'll pick out something nice for you. Uh, okay. Wow, it's been years, huh? This should be fun, though, Ys. Yes. Very. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. You've earned this break. Enjoy it. Dismissed. Wow. You can really tell this is a private beach. It's beautiful. The water's so blue. There's not many places this well-preserved around anymore. <gasps> Look at those white wings. Hi, Welkin. <sighs> this, uh, swimsuit was Rosie's idea. Really, I tried to tell her no. I just... I wasn't sure I could pull it off. Um... What do you think? Do I look okay? Uh, mm, mm, it's great, actually. Great? You mean it? Huh? Uh, yeah. That is... You're, you're as pretty as a white-winged gull. I look like a seagull? Yeah. Those wings are just gorgeous. Okay, so... That was a compliment? You bet it was. A white-winged gull is just about my favorite bird. Okay. Then thanks, Welkin. Someone's taking this private beach thing a little too literally. It's already hot enough as it is. Rosie! Don't try to pretend. You picked the raciest suit just for the lieutenant. The nerve of some girls! Rosie, you're the one who told me to get Ooh. it! Oh, okay, come on. someone's <laughs> going in the water! 
<laughs> okay, okay. Don't lose your top. Hey. <laughs> hey, Elks. Oh, hey, Ys. You having fun? I am. Been a while since we've come to the beach, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me. Weren't you afraid of the water, Ys? I remember you clinging to that floaty porcabian. We tried to drag you out and you started bawling. Well, Kin, I was barely a toddler then. <laughs> right, sorry. You must be a great swimmer by now. That's... none of your business. Here goes, Welkin! Ah! Noink? And down goes the boss. Man, those kids got too much energy. <laughs> You're sounding like an old man, Largo. What? I ain't that old. Oh, no. Then why did you just sound like my grandfather, hmm? Yeah, yeah. You sure you don't want to go for a swim? I thought you liked that. Nobody wants to see me running around in a skimpy suit like those kids. Not at my age. Whatever you say, Granny. You know better than I am, are you? You haven't changed a bit since the day you enlisted. You still can't recognize a joke. And you still got a mouth on you. I think I'd kill over if that changed. <laughs> Thank you for the lovely compliment. Come to think of it, didn't we all go to the beach just after we enlisted? Yes, we had a big seashell hunt competition. I don't think you found a single one. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, that was a wild time. <laughs> then Frederick winds up soaked to the bone. Largo, no Frederick stories. Oh, hey. I'm, I'm sorry. No, I should apologize. I'm going for a little walk. Well? East, over here! Pass the ball over here! Isara! Nail him! Go! Uh, okay. Oink. Hans, did I hit you with that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> she nailed the pig. All by yourself, huh? Why don't you go join them? Nah, that's not my thing. Mm-hmm. Always have to play it cool, huh? Hmm. <laughs> so what, did your journalist duties call you to the beach, or are you just bored? <laughs> Got me there. If I'm spending a day at the beach, I'd rather be with my boyfriend. Oh-ho-ho! Ho. You got yourself a boy, do ya? Color me jealous. Right? But there's times when I feel envious of you all, too. I interviewed a good chunk of Galia's army, but I didn't see any other units like yours. True comrades. The bond you guys have is really a cut above the rest. Hmm. <laughs> now get over there already. They're all waiting for you. Well, I could take pity on them. And it's not like chatting with an old married lady is any fun. <laughs> You're a piece of work. All right, guys, make room for me. Oh, a promising contender joins the fray. Rosie, think you could pair up with Isara? What? Sure, fine. Isara, pull your weight or you're swimming. Okay, I'll do my best, Rosie. 
All right. Throw the ball, Isara. Okay. God, don't hit me with it. You're supposed to throw it that way. Rosie, did I hit you with that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait.